Each little book is a beginning world and the end of the world within itself. The art has to create this unity from beginning to end. And I want a book that doesn't look like a technique, a style so much as just getting to those really important truths that we all know, parenting and family and heartbreak. I get a sense of what does this book look like? How does this book feel? Who are the characters? I'll do a double page layout, how I see the book, and just draw, draw, draw. That's where most of the creativity really happens, with a big pad of paper and thousands, literally thousands of little sketches. There's not a picture that is supposed to stand out. In fact, one of my thoughts on illustration is don't get in the way of the story. So for the characters, it's 1931. It's depression. The family is living in a shack. They're not well fed. So I can feel the desperation. And what will you do to take care of your family? Well, he goes down and cuts down a bunch of trees. And he thinks of a way to sell them into the city. Well, I remember these stories from the depression. So there's a historical moment, but it's also a very human moment of family doing what they can just to do the best they can for their children, in this case, their son. I like this picture too. It's the house under construction. It's when the neighbors and the Rockefeller workers show up and they're building the house and the framing is going up. And the next scene, it's the house completed so the children and the readers can see, oh, that's what it became. Look, the roof became this roof. And you see the boy planting the tree. You go to how many years later in the story, exactly the same spot where he planted it is now a giant tree. I love this Habitat for Humanity connection. I really do. I think it's a great organization. When you do a piece of art, it captures in the entirety of how long it takes to make it. So the under sketch shows. The next layer of quick washes that I talked about shows. Your next layer, everything shows. And so when you look at a piece of art, you see an element of time. The last picture is really the tree in all its glory. The tree is almost glowing from within. And passing of the hammer is here. This is the big moment. And this is the, the reward for it all. I hope this book sticks around for a while. I think it's a great story.